Hey folks, Winston for Carbide 3D here. This is the latest tool to join the Carbide 3D arsenal, the McFly Cutter, a four insert surfacing bit that's designed to devour wood. Anything from MDF and softwood to hardwood is fair game for this cutter. The McFly Cutter uses four replaceable square inserts for cutting edges which are symmetrical on each side, so when an insert's edge gets dull, you can quadruple its usable lifespan by rotating it. The inserts on the sides do most of the work of ripping through wood, while the inserts on the bottom shave material cleanly off the top face of your stock, leaving a nice surface finish. For speeds and feeds, we recommend starting with an RPM of between 16 to 18,000. So regardless of whether you're using our router, a Makita, a DeWalt, or a proper VFD spindle, the McFly cutter should be suitable for your setup. However, we don't recommend exceeding 24,000 RPM, because if an insert breaks during cutting, there's a risk of it becoming a high-speed projectile, as well as the risk of damage to your router or spindle's bearings due to the sudden mass imbalance. Feed rates can start at around 60 inches per minute with a depth of cut of around 0.02 inches. That's about 1500 millimeters per minute and a half millimeter depth of cut for you metric folks. A step over of around 75% of the cutter diameter is a good place to begin for surfacing. Note that these are conservative starting points. Is it possible to run the McFly cutter faster or deeper? Totally, but every material is different and will stress your machine differently. Here on a Shapeoko Pro, I'm doing a 2mm depth of cut in MDF, which is much easier to cut than a dense hardwood. You'll have to do some experimentation with your material and machine to see what works best for you. But regardless of the application, the McFly cutter should save you a bunch of time when flattening your workpiece, be it a cutting board, a warped slab, or even your machine's wasteboard. They're available now in the Carbide 3D store in both quarter inch and 8mm shank sizes. Hope you guys find this tool useful in your projects. Until next time, good luck and have fun machining, folks.